Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome back to tutorial number 26. And in this tutorial, I am going to speak to you guys about the string to upper and string to lower functions in PHP. Now, these functions are actually really simple and they do pretty much exactly what the name implies. Okay, string to upper converts every single character in a string to uppercase and then string to lower obviously converts every single character in the string to lowercase okay um, so I've got some code here from the previous tutorial and I actually just commented these two lines out so that they uh, don't do anything for now but we will come back and use these later okay but for now we've got a string over here it's called apples and I'm going to show you guys how to convert this entire string to uppercase. So all you have to do is obviously type in the function name which is string to upper and obviously our parentheses and in here all we need to do is put in one argument and that is the string that we want to convert to uppercase. So there we go we are converting the string of apples. Okay. So let's go ahead and just actually echo that out. So when we save this now and uh, refresh this in Firefox, you can see that uh, even though over here it's all been typed in lowercase with the exception of this F, it's all printed out in uppercase over here. Okay, so that's because of that variable. And again, if I uh, I use this as string to lower and we actually make some of this um, capital or uppercase so we'll make the word noob uppercase now when we save this and uh, click refresh you can see everything is lowercase even the word noob which we converted to uppercase ourselves over here okay so now that we know that we can use these string to upper and string to lower functions to make text either uppercase or lowercase, um, now we can actually get back to what we were doing in the previous tutorial and that was trying to filter out a few uh, curse words uh, or make believe curse words really because fudge is not actually a curse word, I just didn't want to swear. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just remove all of this and get exactly to what we were like um, in the previous tutorial, okay? So we've got this string here, fudge you noob, and uh, fudge this and fudge that, okay? And we were looking for the word fudge, okay? But I already showed you guys that this doesn't work when there is a capital F in the word fudge, okay? Because uh, we're looking for a small f. And if we went ahead and changed this to a capital F and we went back here, then it wouldn't work for the other two fudges, okay? So we need to try and make a way of making this case sensitive. And the best solution to this really is just to uh, make another variable here. So we'll call it uh, apples lower and then we'll just convert string to lower okay so we'll just convert apples to lowercase and then when we use this over here we'll just use the apples lower variable Okay, so what we've done now is we've taken in the string, let's say it was taken in from the user or something, then we've converted everything to lowercase, and then we've looked for the word fudge in lowercase, because now it's all going to be in lowercase, and replaced it with uh, these uh, asterisk symbols, and then we just went ahead and uh, printed that out on the screen. So when we click refresh, I made an error because I forgot a semicolon. Got to watch out for those. Okay, click refresh, and there we go. We now have all of the uh, words fudge 
being censored. Okay, and that's probably the last tutorial on string functions that I'm going to do uh, for this series for now. Okay, but there are actually tons of uh, other string functions that we didn't learn about. So if I go back to Firefox, um, you just need to go over to the PHP manual. I'll leave a link in the description of the video below. And uh, all you guys have to do uh, is go over to that link and you'll see there's a whole bunch of um, function names here that you guys can use. And if you go ahead and click on one of those functions, there's also a nice explanation of how to use it as well. Okay, so if you guys want to learn more about string functions, go over to the PHP uh, manual and you'll be able to take a look at everything over there. But for now, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like or share the video. It's really going to help my channel grow and I'll see you guys next time.